Hello, today I'm going to show you how I made my daughter's 10th birthday cake. In this video I will be giving you the basic ingredients and steps on how to make a two-tiered cake with buttercream. As for the flavours, colours and design, you can customise to make however you like. For the sponge cake you will need 400 grams of self-raising flour, 400 grams of granulated sugar, 400 grams of softened butter and 8 medium eggs. For the buttercream you will need 500 grams of softened and salted butter, 1 kilogram of icing sugar, 1 to 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract and food colouring paste. For the filling you can use jam, buttercream, chocolate spread, peanut butter, anything you like. In a very large mixing bowl, whisk the butter until soft and creamy. Add the sugar, then mix in thoroughly. Whisk in the eggs. Mix in the flour. Finally, stir in any unmixed ingredients around the sides and particularly at the bottom of the bowl. Using three 8-inch and one 6-inch cake tins, two if they are shallow, line the bases with parchment then fill each tin three quarters of the way to the top. If you're a bit of a perfectionist like I am, after distributing the cake mixture, you can weigh each of your 8-inch tins to make sure they are of similar weight. Once you are satisfied, place all of the cakes into a 180 degrees Celsius preheated oven for around 15 to 20 minutes. Keep an eye on them though, as the smaller cake may take a little longer as it is taller. Once ready, place on a cooling rack to cool thoroughly. For the buttercream, mix the butter until light and fluffy. Carefully add the icing sugar and vanilla extract. I mix in the sugar a bit at a time as it has a tendency to fly everywhere. If making multiple colours of buttercream, now is the time to divide your mixture into separate bowls. Slowly add your chosen colour a little at a time until you get your desired shade. As always, I recommend food colouring paste over liquid and gel as it is highly concentrated so a little goes a long way and has a lovely vibrant colour. Now that the sponge cakes are cool, using a very sharp knife or cake slicer, cut off any domes for a nice flat even surface. I used a dollop of strawberry jam on my cake board to use as a glue to hold the cake into place but you can also use buttercream or any other spread depending on your chosen filling. Layer up your cakes with a generous even layer of filling in between. Until set the cake might slide around a little on the cake board so keep an eye on it to make sure it stays centred. After the top layer is on, wipe off any crumbs ready for frosting. Begin with a crumb coat. This thin layer of buttercream will seal in any crumbs off the cake and give a nice base for piping or spreading. Simply spread the buttercream all over the cake and in between all layers, then let to set for 10 minutes in the freezer or about 20 minutes on a worktop. Repeat this process with your small top tiered cake. If like me and you don't have any small cake boards at hand, you can make your own. Simply tape together several layers of 7 inch round pieces of cardboard, making sure it's very strong and doesn't bend too much, then cover the whole thing in tin foil. I spoon the buttercream into a piping bag with a medium sized star shaped nozzle but you can decorate your cake however you like. Pipe on your buttercream however you like. 
If not piping, just spread your frosting straight onto the crumb coat. For some reason, I didn't make my crumb coat the same colour as the final colour, so I had to apply another quick layer of purple on top before piping. Repeat the process with the top layer. After seeing the two tiers together, I decided I didn't like how I decorated the top layer, so I decided to start again. That's one of the beauties of baking, you can change things as you go and sometimes you just never can tell what a cake is going to look like until it is finished. Due to the weight of the tiered cakes, it's always best to place dowels into the bottom layer of your cake to stop it from collapsing. I don't have any dowels, so simply cut 5 barbecue skewers to a height of the top of the buttercream, then place them evenly apart to help distribute the weight. Pop on the top tier, then you are ready to pipe around the bottom to hide the cake board. My top tier deliberately sat slightly above the buttercream of the lower tier, as I wanted to be able to separate the two easily to use the bottom tier at my daughter's birthday party and the top tier for her actual birthday, so I piped the second layer to hide the seam between the two. Then I decided to repipe the top tier of cake, but of course you can skip this part if you've already done it. And that is it, the basic way I make a two-tiered cake. You can finish it off with candles, figures, toppers, anything you like. To finish off my daughter's cake, I made a top out of card and florist wire to match the colours of the cake. Storing this cake is a little tricky because of the size of it, so it's best to be eaten as soon as possible and definitely within 5 days. Thanks for watching.